Last night I popped four Molly, smoked 11 joints, took some K at the end, and drank about 56 drinks. This is, a, this is, this is, this is the, the thump guide to clubbing. Make tea in the morning, like lemon, honey, ginger. Coconut water is like from the God, like God, like it is like this, it, it, it saves, saves life. Do I puke? Do I not puke? And then you're like, don't puke. It's cool. It's cool. We can get through this. Don't puke. Don't puke. You, you gotta puke. You've done, you know, you know how this goes. Just get it out. You'll feel, you'll feel terrible, but then you'll feel better. My remedy for sobering up, you know, a lot of sobbing in your bed, depending on how the night went. <laughs> If you're trying and you can't cancel, you can't cancel that thing. It's like it's important that you have to be at that place at that time. Prayer helps. I pray for you. Usually, I put on like three times as much makeup when I'm hungover, just so I feel like I look like a human being compared to how I actually feel on the inside. Well, if you're out on a wild night and you're really hungover the next day and you have another party to attend the same day, you should probably just continue drinking. I guess you could call your mom so she could give you a nice long I told you so speech. Stick to one type of liquor through the night. Do not mix it up. As soon as you mix it up, that's when you get the headache and the bloat and all that stuff. There's only one way to survive the next day after a big night, and that's to be a motherfucking G.